Demonstrators damaged police cars, blocked a major highway, and threw rocks and bottles at police. Officers fired tear gas at the protesters. The trouble began at the scene of yesterday's shooting. David Begno is in Charlotte, where police and the dead man's family are telling two very different stories. David, good morning. Good morning. Police say this man posed an immediate risk to the officer who shot and killed him. But the man's family says he didn't even have a gun. It was a book. Shortly after the shooting, protesters showed up. It was peaceful initially. But then officials say some agitators arrived, and it got violent. Police cars were vandalized. Officers were hurt. Protesters stormed an interstate. And then some arrived at this Walmart in Charlotte. They pried their way inside, smashed through the front door. The manager tells us they stole some electronics. People stacked pallets out front to keep protesters away, and this went on for hours. Overnight, the protesters in Charlotte clashed with police, hours after the deadly shooting of Keith Lamont Scott. Several demonstrators smashed out windows of squad cars and hurled rocks at police. Officers dressed in riot gear fired tear gas to break up the crowds of people who shut down Interstate 85. Several police officers were hurt, all with non-life-threatening injuries. Seven were taken to a local hospital. Conflicting versions of Tuesday's story have now emerged. Police say they were looking for a suspect who had an outstanding warrant. The 43-year-old Scott was not the man they were looking for. But police say he got out of his vehicle with a weapon, then got back in, then exited again with the weapon. As they engage him, uh, he is armed with a handgun that we found on scene as well. Um, make some imminent threat to them, and um, because of that, one, at least one of our officers fired. The police just shot my daddy four times for being black. A woman claiming to be Scott's daughter streamed the aftermath of the shooting live on Facebook. They tased him first and then shot him. The video has already been viewed more than a half a million times, and it shows the frustration building from members of the community looking for answers. A life had been lost today. A life was taken, and y'all want to block everybody out? Scott's sister claims he was unarmed and was reading a book while waiting for his son to get off the school bus when police approached him. They jumped out their truck. They said, hands up. He got a gun. He got a gun. Pow, 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 pow. That's it. He had no gun. The officer who fired that fatal shot has been identified as Brentley Vinson. He's a two-year veteran of the police force, and as is customary an officer-involved shootings, he's on paid administrative leave.